so this one, I'm going to show you another way. This is using a laser print, which I think and we, we decided this that one. was that one, yeah. Right. So we're going to take an image off of here. I'm going to use this flower. And remember, white is not um, color, so we don't really have to worry about that. If you want to make sure this isn't going to move, you could put a little piece of tape there to hold it. We're going to be using, uh, this is a chart pack colorless blender. Mm -hmm. You know that one. Yep. So what you're going to do is you have to work in small areas at a time. And you put it down and then you burnish it. And you can even just use the other end of the pin to burnish it, kind of the edge. And this, we call it a uh, stinky pen for a reason. I think it smells good. <laughs> it's xylene, so... Yeah, they, they do not, say that you shouldn't really be inhaling it's non-toxic, it. but um, anything that smells that way is yeah, probably, it's probably not really great for your health, but in small doses, yeah. you should be okay. Or else do it outside if you're really concerned This will about also it. work if you want to use uh, citrus off. Mm -hmm. But that has a really strong orange scent. The reason I prefer this is because the smell dissipates much quicker. And the citrus, citrus, which really salt, sticks around, yeah. it, it'll smell like oranges for a year. Which, so, if you're into that sort so of thing, so let's take a peek. If you hold this part down and then pull that up, it's not yeah. a bad transfer. That's a great transfer, Christy. Pretty darn good transfer. Okay, yeah. do so you, you would just keep doing that until, until you, you transfer it as much or as little as you like. Right. And isn't that beautiful? It looks Now, lovely. with this, as opposed to the inkjet, technically you don't need to seal it. However, just to, as a precaution, I sometimes put a layer of the polymer medium. I was going to say, it couldn't hurt probably. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, that is with the stinky pen. Stinky pen. Yeah. Okay. Which surface do you want for this one? We're going to use... Use the same one? This one. Okay. This is what we're going to use so we can move those pieces out of the way. Now, I chose to use this image, which is the same one I have up in the painting there. So you can see how I got that onto here. So this is a decal paper. It's, it's a water slide decal. So, Another one of your favorites. Yes. And it's a backing paper. And the way you get this image on is I've printed this on a laser printer. They mm -hmm. do make it for inkjet. There's just an extra step that you need to okay. fix it prior to putting this in the water. So the way this works is you buy this product, this paper. It comes like 8.5 by 11, and then you run it through your printer of choice, get the image on, and then we're going to soak this in water to remove the backing paper. And where it's white, it's not ink. So going it's going to show be through. clear. So what I'm going to do is trim off, even though it's white, I don't want that edge. Now, I don't have to cut it. I can tear it if I want a different kind of edge. So it's completely up to you. Then you're going to take this in water, and you're going to put it face around. down, face slide down. in the water. And it's going to have a tendency to want to curl up. Yeah, is that bad? So you just want to make sure that it doesn't float up out of the water. I will hold it in there. You don't want to press it all the way down. After a minute, it relaxes. Again with the high maintenance. Yeah. <laughs> it's a Goldilocks thing. <laughs> so what we are going to need are some paper towels to blot that with. That's what you got them. Yeah. So you can take out a couple of uh, rows of that. We'll put it there where we can blot the transfer. The other thing you're going to be using is polymer medium gloss. Okay. Do we have our brush ready for yeah. that? Okay. Yeah, okay, ready. just tell me when to pull that out and what to do with it. So we didn't really evaluate where we wanted to put it, but we're just going to put it right in here somewhere. You know, it would be nice to, well, I was going to say to get some of that red in the little window, but okay. no, not really because the door is red, so. Yeah. So we can, what this polymer medium gloss does is it gives you, I call it a little extra slide time. Okay. Especially on the plaster because the plaster is very absorbent. So mm -hmm. when you put that on, it's going to want to stay where you put it. So by adding some polymer medium, let's, let's put that around. I'm going to add a little water. 
it's going to give us a little extra time. Okay. And then we can move it around. We can decide where we want it to go. Okay. That's good. Okay. So now we're going to check it to see if it's sliding on the backing paper. Oh, yeah, it really and, is. And you want to check, if you have a big piece like this, you want to check on the two long ends. Yeah, it's okay. good to go. So just hold it up and let the water drip off. And now you're going to put it over in between. In between the two layers. Yeah, and then just blot it. All right. And now we're going to take it out. Okay. And flip it over. So we can't really put this down because we're going to remove the paper back. But we're looking at this to evaluate where might we want this compositionally. It's going to line it up over here a little okay. bit. Okay. So then that leaves us a spot if okay. we wanted to work with that cutout. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide it forward. We're going to line up that edge where you want it. Okay. Oops, oops. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to hold that down and pull the paper backing out. And do you see that how is it is transparent? Cool. And don't worry too much. Just get that thing out of there and we'll come down like this. Okay. And I'll take that. We can throw that away. Now, what you want to do, I'm going to help you out here. Lift it up bit. a little bit. Yeah. I'm going to try to yeah. help some of that. Oh. But do you see on the plaster, it really sticks quickly. Yeah, it really does. If you were working on a more um, forgiving. Well, like not so porous Right, surface. something that was a little bit more slick. You'd probably mm -hmm. have plenty of time to work on it. I'm trying to work But that's pretty good out. for your first one. And then I'm using my finger to get some of the air bubbles oh, okay. out. That's a good idea. When it dries, the other thing you can do is you can sand this, and it's going to integrate the background with the foreground. And then you don't really need to worry too much about uh, any wrinkles that you might have. Well, you really want to get as many of them out as possible because it's an important part to get this adhered. Hey, for a first timer, you're doing really good on this. Oh, thank you so much. There you go. Look, you got it all fixed. Yeah, it's perfect. Yeah. Perfect. So now this part where this hard edge is, we're not going to worry about that right now because when this dries, we can go in with sandpaper and, and sand that back. We can add more plaster on top. So it's, people always ask me, well, when is it done? And I said, well, somebody takes it away from me. So it's <laughs> done. So we just keep playing with it. It's important to let this stay flat and dry. For Do we need to blot this off at all? No, if it had a lot of water on it. Okay, and actually that looks like it's really just polymer medium. But sometimes you need to watch it because air bubbles will develop. That's so. Weird. Just keep an eye on it for maybe 10 minutes and then put it aside, let it dry overnight, and then you can sand it or integrate it.